Print out our boys and girls. It's been a couple of weeks now since I've done my last assembly. And today, I want to just have a little chat to you about coming to the end of term. The end of the academic year, because on Friday, Clangana Primary School will close for the summer holidays. And I'm pleased to say that all of us will be back together in September. And for some of us, we're going to say goodbye. We're going to be saying goodbye to our year six as they move on to comprehensive school for the next steps in their educational journey. We're also saying goodbye to some of our fantastic staff. We're saying goodbye to Mrs Ford in the office. We're saying goodbye to Mrs Davis in Red Class. We're saying goodbye to Mr Thomas in Blue Class. We're saying goodbye to Mrs Parry from Blue Class. And we're also saying goodbye to Mrs Knight. Whatever they decide to do next, they go with our best wishes and with the knowledge that they'll always be part of the Llanganoid Primary School family. It's been great over the last couple of weeks as we've been able to welcome back you and your friends back to school for our check-in, catch-up and prepare sessions. It's been lovely to see children back in school laughing, learning, smiling, enjoying school. And I look forward to welcoming you all back in September. Now, I'm going to tell you a story this afternoon. And it's written by Daniela Romero, Romeo, sorry, and Michael Romeo. And it's called, When the World Got Sick. When the world got sick, a lot had to change. I couldn't go to school. It felt very strange. We had to stay at home to lend a helping hand. So the world could get better, we were taking a stand. Mum and Dad said there were certain things we couldn't do. But we shouldn't worry, they had lots of ideas to help get us through. We couldn't perform our concerts at school. So instead, we had a sing-along from our balcony. It was cool. We couldn't go to Charlie's house to play. So instead, we painted pictures for the hospital. I made a stingray. We couldn't go to the library to take out a book, so instead I read recipes with Mam and learned how to cook. We couldn't go with Grandma and Grandpa to the mall, so instead we checked in on them with a video call. We couldn't go to our favourite park, so instead we played in a yard with Max. He's got a very loud bark. We couldn't go with our neighbours for a walk, so instead, we wrote their messages on our sidewalk with chalk. Sidewalk is an American word for pavement. We couldn't go to the community centre for a swim. So instead, we turned the basement into our very own gym. We couldn't go with Dad to the grocery store. So instead, we dropped off food at Mrs Caro's front door. When the world got sick, I wasn't sad. I knew we'd stick together, which made me ever so glad. We helped one another, you see that was the trick, and the world got better. It was no longer sick. There's a beautiful rainbow at the end. And as we start to come back to normal, we start to return to school, we still have to be careful. We still have to remember to stay two metres away from our friends at the moment. We still need to wash our hands as often as we do. And this will have to carry on in September. But I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Every single one of you. With your smiling faces. Working hard. Enjoying life in school again. So that's a little story about when the world got sick. And even though the world is feeling a lot, lot better. There's still some people who are not very well. 
and we need to make sure that we look after ourselves and stay safe. So I'm going to say a quick prayer now. So do the like a guy. Our Father, help us to remember the key people in the world who've helped us to stay safe during our time away from school. We thank the key workers, the people who helped us, the people who looked after us, the people who cared for us. We thank some thank our mum and dads for all the hard work they've done helping us learn and to our teachers. We hope and pray that we can get back to normal as soon as we can. Amen. Now, I am going to send another story out on Friday, which ends our school year. My first year in Tlanga Night. It's been a fantastic year. I've absolutely loved every single minute of it. But I'm, I, the school isn't the same without all you and your laughter and the joy that you bring to our school. There's going to be some special tasks sent out on Seesaw this week about drawing yourself. And what special information would you like your new teachers to know about you? For mums and dads reported in the post, um, if you've been in for your checkup, catch up and check in sessions, you would have had your report already. But for those who haven't come back, they've gone in the post today and you should have them tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all. Stay safe and there'll be another little video message on Friday. Jochen Vaur.